I was getting worried. I thought I had messed something up. I guess that's it. My name is Tony Thomas, and you're watching Hardwired Exotics on YouTube. We about to turn it on. by the bright orange that uh, we're going on not in the snake room so we've been hunting I think just be the third time for me fourth time for my father over here who's escorting us this afternoon so this year we actually got in the stands a little earlier uh, both season comes in here what's both season September 12th, 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 I think. 12th. So, um, come in. Uh, we actually got in the stands and started hunting this year on September 12th, which rarely happens, especially considering this is the first year that my father has used a crossbow. Uh, I bought him one this past summer, and we set him up a couple weeks ago, and he's been doing some crossbow hunting. So, you know, there's a lot of things that are really cool about the crossbow, and I like a compound bow and a crossbow, but the compound bow is, is a little bit difficult for the younger generation and, and even the older generation to use. So having the ability to use a crossbow uh, allows, again, the younger generation and older generation to actually get out and bow hunt. So really enjoying it. Anyway, so we're fixing to hit the woods and uh, you'll see a little bit of that in just a second. All right, so I'm not gonna be doing a whole lot of talking as I'm walking into the stand, but uh, another thing I just thought about, a lot of people are scared of guns. So the crossbows and compound bows allow for people to uh, you know, be able to hunt without being scared of a gun. I still have a gun. I never go in the woods without at least a some sort. So, anyway, uh, no more talking from here on out. We'll get a couple minutes and hopefully we'll put some meat on the table. We're not really shooting for antlers right now, although a big buck would be nice. Um, we're just trying to put some meat on the table, so trying to thin out some older does right now and, and uh, stuff that we can eat. So. Anyway, stay tuned. I have no idea if you can see me or not. I'm trying to get the flashlight on me, but uh. No luck tonight, um, just the way it is, why they call it hunting and not killing, so we'll, uh, we'll be going more this season, so make sure you tag along, I'm sure we'll add some snakes in after this clip, so stay tuned. Craig, what? Hey, on this microphone, what's the 0 dB? Oh, 0 Dragon Ball Z. Oh, and what's the plus 2 0 dB? That's um, Dragon Ball Z, you know, GT plus 2. I don't know. I, I don't. Just is, is it a green light on? 
Yes, the green light is on. Okay, so the other one must be zero two beatbox. Not a clue. So what's up? Anyway. Well, where's Cassie? Why are, why are we doing this? Uh, our son is going to be a tail holder today. Yeah. Kind of like the guy that you got this snake from. Is he? Yeah. Jason. Yeah. Shh. We're on YouTube. Uh, oh, oh. Sh- we are, well, so we are filming. Yeah. Oh, so you're filming me opening my, my box of my new snake. <laughs> yeah. What? Well, hey, what's up, you two? <laughs> what's up? So I thought you were just trying to figure out how to work the, the camera. No, we're filming. Oh, okay, what's up? So, is it a tail hole? Uh, Jason has been known to be a tail hole. They're yes. all nice to me. But then again, I, they all think that, you know, it's you getting everything. See? It says Tony Thomas. Yeah. But, um, no. So, yeah, this came in the mail today. So I am super excited about it. So Craig went and picked this up earlier. Uh, come from uh, Good. Is it Goody? Goody? Goody's like the, like the powder. Goody's powder. Goody's powder. Yeah. Goody. Goody's powder exotics. No, it's Goody exotic. Goody's exotic. So anyway, uh, I don't talk to Jason a whole lot, and we're just kidding about him being an asshole. I mean, he kind of is, but it's okay. But anyway, uh, check that out. I'm not good on his zoom and stuff. This Just move the camera forward. Nice. So uh, anyway, I talked to Jennifer a good bit about blackhead stuff, and we've kind of bought some snakes from her, and she's bought some snakes from me over the years. Got stickers. Uh, Jason's always been too good to buy anything from me, but uh, maybe he does, and you just don't know it. Kind of like I buy things and people don't know. I'm yeah, that's not. true. Because technically, I bought this snake for Craig, and <coughs> and then you know he paid it back for. Because he's my snake broker. Yeah. Oh, hey. I handle the deals. But anyway. He's a snake broker. So actually, I don't. Did you find this snake, or did I find it on Morph Market? You found it on Morph Market because we were looking for another. We were looking for another male to add to my collection. Yep. And I was like, Oh, I want this. I want this. And said, Nope. This is your new snake. And yeah. you sent that to me. And I was like, Buy it. Just, yeah. Yeah. It was too good to be true. Yeah, that's right. Because yeah. it it had a. Uh, we were looking for trick with no bell complex. Trick with no bell complex and, and no pastel. That's right. No pastel. So. And I don't remember what else it was. Anyway, there was another. Anyway, I came across it, and Craig's like, "I want to add chocolate too." Well, guess what? It has chocolate. Chocolate. So we know chocolate, and we know tricks in this. And it's and got that hot fire. And it's got that fire. It's got that fire. So uh, it's packaged up very well. Anyway, we uh, we decided we we add this one to the uh, arsenal of tricks that Craig right. has my trick army bowling at his house oh hey what's up oh this is a good one alright so let's check it out gotta do this whole zooming thing gotta do this whole zooming thing it's got some toilet paper on it some toilet paper look at that come here little man he just what's wiped up? his butt he did wipe his butt look at that yeah the pictures didn't do this thing justice at all yep that looks nice look at that so this is a chocolate fire trick? Yep. Supposedly. Supposedly. I'm holding the camera so I really don't get a good look at it, but we can switch. That's what they had it labeled as. Chocolate fire trick. I can see it. I can see the fire in it. I don't know much about chocolate. All my chocolate snakes are, are white, so I don't I don't know. Check it out. That's what see, that's why I like tricks. Tell mm-hmm. us why you like tricks. Because they're crazy looking. I mean it's just simple. It's like I got a fire snake. It just looks like a little color change to it. I got a chocolate snake over over at the house. It got a little cool color to it. I like the trippy patterns. You know, every one of them's different. So it's not like I can make the same one next year, and it's going to look exactly the same. Get off my, my snake, Nat. So th- that's kind of what I like about it. It's like each one of them is going to be its own lit individual, like little snowflake of a snake. Yeah. Yeah. Trick trick is a pattern distorter, just so people. Uh, they, they should know if they watch our channel, yeah, but in case they don't, in case you don't, <laughs> Craig has an arsenal trick and, and loves it. Yeah, he actually bought all mine a couple of years ago. I, he, I think I bought a few from from them too at the goodies. Yeah, think, yeah, yeah, we've gotten some from Jennifer. Yeah, a good majority of my tricks come from there. Yeah, so um, so trick just kind of distorts the pattern, but you're right. Each one of them is like it, it's unique. It's just completely unique. So yeah. so it's not like I got like. Oh, look, I got this inchy. Okay, cool. Well, I got this inchy, too. It looks exactly the same. Oh, well, you know what? I got this, and then you could have this, and it looks completely different. Yep, for you sure. Know? You know, that's, that's kind of what I, what I dig about them. 
Yeah. Why then? It's just why not? Why not be different? There you, you go. Know? So anyway, just, uh, just a little three gener. Yeah. Well, I mean, you can do a lot of damage with this. I mean, Damn think about what you yeah. can add. Just adding pinstripe, <clears throat> just strictly, just straight pinstripe added to that snake will be, you know, completely ridiculous. Yes. Yeah. So there's the world is almost endless on what we can add to this. But I was just, I was really happy to find something without pastel in it because I've already got pastel in my other one, my Superfly. He's got pastel in him. Yep. And I was just, I, I, nothing, nothing's wrong with pastel. I dig it. Like I was talking about. My pick for 2021 is going to be pinstripe pastels. Everybody's going to have them. There you go. But I don't want it in everything. Yeah. You know, I want to have something where I can use this to another animal and not have to worry about, oh, I got, pen, uh, you know, pastel in this and in that. Or, you know, this one's now a super pastel. Yep. And then I got a fire female, which this will not go to because what happens when I mix two fires together? You get black eyed Lucy's, right? Black eyed Lucy's. Yeah, black eyed Lucy's. So I don't want to do that either. But I still have some other types of animals that I'd like to get some fire into. Yeah, oh, I agree. Yeah, I love pastel and desert ghost stuff, but I don't. Oh, absolutely. Want, I don't want my entire desert ghost collection to, to have, pastel. have pastel in it. Yeah, you know, it looks good in hypo. I love, I love hypo. I love exanthic stuff with pastels. Mm -hmm. and, but you know, you don't want to have a whole collection full of pastel. That's right. Just like you don't want to have a whole collection full of lesser or Mojave or you know even Inchy. You know. I don't want to have everything with Inchy in it, even though I like a lot of stuff with Inchy. So, so Blackhead, on the other hand, man, Blackhead can go in anything. I think I think I could probably deal with Blackhead being in everything. Well, see, I think so. that's that's what it is. My obsession with trick stuff is like your obsession with Blackhead stuff. Very, know? very, you very, just, very likely. And then I got a whole bunch of you know Blackhead tricks, and then so now it's time to time to start venturing out and starting to find more stuff. I saw someone had a clown trick on Morph Market, but I don't know. If it is a clown trick, I don't have anything to compare it to. Yeah, or... possible trick. Yeah, mm -hmm. I've seen some of those too. So I was like, maybe I'll make one, and then I'll know. But yeah, that's definitely something worth making, not buying. Definitely. Yeah, but look how cool he is. Oh God! Oh no! I did it again. I snapped my fingers and it messed up. It messed up. I don't see you. Where am I at? I don't know. You're not there. I'm. It's cause yeah. I'm over here. Ding dong. Uh, oh, my bad. Shit. My bad, guys. Um, I'm still figuring this, this this stuff out. Anyway, so I almost thought that we were done with breeding season. Like, I thought everything oh, was yeah. done. You know, had two more girls that were going to lay for us this year. Check this out. Let's go. Where are we going? I don't know how to zoom, so I just walk on and follow things. Oh. So, yeah. about a... Uh... Well, she has made a mess in here. But anyway, about a week ago or so, I caught this girl ovulating. Yeah. You know what's really cool about this? What's that? This is the first chance of a triple recessive animal that I'll ever have. I do what now? Yep, you heard me. Okay. Triple recessive. Triple recessive. Yeah. So is it recessive for... Um... So this is a super pastel... Tiger, triple head, hypopod, exanthic. Super pastel, tiger, triple head, pastel, exanthic. <laughs> triple head, hypo, hypo, pod, pod. exanthic. Oh, oh, that's and that's our our kind of exanthic. Our kind of exanthic. Word. So, all right. So this is going to be something that I'm very interested in so, because I have double heads. Yep. So this will be a triple head with some of the same stuff that I'm... No, this using. could produce the visuals. Of what I'm trying to produce? No, you're trying to do the clown exanthic yeah. stuff. Yeah. I'm not supposed to talk about it. Don't talk about it. Hey, edit, edit that out. Edit that don't, out. Don't, don't listen. Just... So the... This girl was bred to the same thing. Okay. Let's just swap position two. So this girl was bred uh, also to another triple head male. So we have the opportunity... For our first visual triple head recessive animals, I know it's a long shot, but uh, hey, if you don't do it, then you know you're never going to be able to do it. So we're we're trying for it. I have yet to make an exanthic pod, just not had the greatest luck on this project. So we're going to shoot for it again, and on this time we got the added gene of hypo. 
So I didn't expect that she was going to go this year, but she did. So we'll fingers crossed on that. We should see eggs in a couple of weeks and two more months for hatching. So, you know, you never really know how this industry is going to do you. I just knew that she had reabsorbed, didn't think that she was going to go, and then poof, she ovulates. So There you go, man. If you don't shoot for the moon, someone else will. That's exactly. where you got to be. But anyway, uh, that's a really cool project, so y'all stay tuned on that. I was super excited to see that last week. And, hey, you know, it's a, it's a project that I've, I've been working on for a long time. And uh, cross the fingers, it's going to pay off one of these days. <laughs> cross the fingers. All right, so let's check out a few babies that just hatched and then uh, get out of here for the day. What, what we got? This is kind of a, uh unusual pairing here. Okay. So the pairing that made those five in this clutch, I'm just gonna put three out on the table okay. for now. So the pairing that made this was a banana inchy pod to a leopard hit pod. So here's a crazy story. Um the female I actually made. I had a leopard female that I bred to a pod I guess four or five years ago. Mm -hmm to make leopard head pot. So I made one, a female, I kept her back, and I've bred her for, this is her third clutch. So the first year we bred her to a OD head pod. She produced no pods. The second year, which was last year, we bred her to, oh I forgot what I bred her to last year. Uh oh. Nope. You gotta nope. write things down. Well, that's wrote down. I just can't remember off the top of my head. Anyway, it was a visual pod, whatever bred to. And once again, got no pods. Now, I produced this girl. I knew she was 100% head pod. And, man, I tell you, I, just, I don't know. I was getting worried. I thought I had messed something up. You know, she had returned sperm from another male. But I, as far as I could remember back and had on my notes, she was only bred to a pod. So, or the mama was only bred to a pod. So I knew she had to be hit, or at least I thought she was. So, anyway, so three clutches, three clutches, she finally provides us with a pod. So, so we got one? I don't see a single pod right there. Yeah, the wrong one. Me too. Oh, man, I didn't get that on camera. So, yep. So this was the pie that she gave us. What I assume is a uh, banana leopard pie. A banana cream pie. Banana, yeah. Banana cream pie. Banana cream pie. I'm <laughs> coining that phrase. So anyway, uh was really excited, you know, to even though it's not what I wanted to make in this pairing, I uh, was really excited to see the pie because, you know, finally she she has given us a pie and I know for sure that she's a hundred percent hit. So Anyway, just so you can kind of know what's going on here, um, I'll kind of ID these out. So let me let me start. Uh, let me finish with that. So head stuff, you know, it doesn't always prove the first or second time. So unfortunately, I've just gotten skunked on the odds of you know of making a visual pod from this girl, knowing that she was a hundred percent head, cause I made her myself. I was still worried. Um, but anyway, you got to be really uh. You gotta be really patient when it comes to proving hits out. So, just because a girl doesn't prove or a boy doesn't prove on its first clutch, you know, don't give up. So yeah, that's right. You don't get legendaries every time you play a video game. There you go. Yeah. All right. So let's get back to the ID on this. <clears throat> Cassie, right. are you coming in? I seen the doorknob move. Hey. Oh, hey, y'all. <laughs> what you doing? Nothing. What you doing? Coming here to hang out with y'all. That's an awesome shirt you got on. Right? Yes. Look at the back. Not no, slagging on the back. Not slagging on the back. Very good. <laughs> you coming in here? Come on. Yeah. You can get in there. Okay. I'll, I'll hold the camera. You're good. All right. So let's get into ID in these things. Uh, start with this uh, the more general one. This is a leopard. And uh, it's a what? Leopard. Leopard. Leopard pod. Leopard pod. This is a leopard head pod. Okay. So. Okay. Uh, only female in the clutch. Again, I'm getting skunked on making females this, this year. Yep. You're not taking that one. <laughs> I want to name this one Halloween. 
Halloween. I already named it banana cream pie. But the face looks like Halloween. It's okay. like what? It's a pumpkin. It's a pumpkin. You're a pumpkin. It does have a little. I didn't even yeah. notice the little face on it. How about that? <laughs> Halloween. Made a pumpkin to my face. Anyway, uh, this is a banana leopard. All these are going to be 100% head pod. And that's a male. Uh, yes, male. This is really cool looking, and I'm don't need to keep this, but I may end up keeping it. It's a banana inchy <laughs> leopard. Yeah, that's exactly right. See, I know things. Banana inchy leopard, 100% pepper. Let's see, cute boy. That's a good looking snake. Yes, I love these things. This is one of my favorite combinations with banana. It's for sale right now, eight thousand dollars. First person. <laughs> Uh, and I'm pretty sure this is going to be banana, leopard, and obviously it's pie too. Mm -hmm. I don't think this one got inchy, and I don't think it's just a banana. I think leopard's in there too. That's uh, nice. Yeah. So, let's bring up a little bit of back history again. I forgot to mention, well I didn't forget to mention, I purposely didn't tell you to originally that this leopard head pie girl is also 100% head exanthic. What in the world? <laughs> Yep. So our, our example. Nope. Nope. You gotta um, be specific now. Spe yep. Pacific. Specific. Specific. <laughs> yeah. So later in years, oh, excuse me. Let me tell you what she produced first. So she actually produced an exanthic on her very first clutch. No pods, but gave us one exanthic. I thought that was, you know, unbelievably crazy. That you know you're made made an example, but it happens. So anyway, we traced it down. Uh, we believe that the male obviously it had to be hit too because it wasn't visual. Uh, we believe that it was VPI just from the lineage that it had came from. We believe it'd be VPI exanthic. So kind of just wrote it off on a side note that she could be hit, you know, VPI exanthic. VPI exanthic. But she's yeah. definitely a head exanthic. I'll show a picture of that uh, baby too. Somewhere you, you right make a, here. Yeah, make, a pic, <laughs> make a picture somewhere. All right. So what gets crazy is check this out. Don't open that bad one again, and get, he almost got bit by the retic. Yeah. That's why I put labels on things. Even range knows to use. It does the have hook. a label. Even range knows to use the hook. Yeah. So anyway, All right, let's check this thing out. So what is this? Um, looking through the camera lens, this is going to be a banana, inchy. No, it's not a banana. Is it? I don't know. Is it? It's, ooh, it's sticky. Well, it just hatched. Well, I, I'm looking through the camera. I, dude, I, all right, so it's, again, it's got to be a banana. It is definitely a banana. And it's an inchy. It's definitely inchy. And it's got some leopard in it. No leopard. No, no leopard. No. What's making it pink or red? That's what I'm trying to figure out. All right. So this would be what a banana... Is that a banana exanthic? A bizanthic? I don't know. A bizanthic. Y'all heard me say it first. Bizanthic. I do not know 100%, but this may be a banana inchy exanthic. It kind of looks like it. I what mean, do you think, you two people? People that know what things are? Which mm -hmm. means... <laughs> I had another male prove head exanthic. Isn't this, isn't this weird how that happened... Like what? A couple months ago, with one of mine. Yep. We got an exanthic. Now we got a, a maybe exanthic. Yep. I've Dude. proved out Do three I? females this year that are hit hypo. I have an awesome idea. What's your idea? <laughs> I gotta use these for TikTok. <laughs> if you're not following our TikTok, follow it. I will link Nobody it. Nobody care about you. Look what I can do. Look what I can do. Everybody, everybody cares about it. Apparently. <laughs> uh, she does good. She does good, y'all. I'll follow her on TikTok. Yeah, she's more famous than I am. <laughs> it's true. Two million followers or yeah. whatever it is. Only it's 30K followers. Only 30K followers. I had whatever. like a million point two views on one of your snake videos. On well, one of your snake videos. That's because I made it. Anyway. No, you did not. <laughs> <laughs> so, you got a popular YouTube channel and a popular TikTok channel, Cassie. Okay. You are doing it. You are doing it for 2020. Yeah. I'm trying. So, anyway, we'll wait and see what this uh, looks like after it sheds out. But, uh, hey. That would be pretty cool again, huh? I'm digging it, dude. So, anyway, I guess that's it. See, it wants to go home with me. It's coming over here to me. Uh, that one's coming to me. Yeah, but this, but this one is. I'm taking. This oh, one. you like that one? 
I like yeah. this one. Well, this one's already here with you. Good. This one's going to see later. But it may not stay. It's going. It's going. <laughs> you know how Tony is. If any of them stay, it's going to be this one. I'm telling you, no, that one's just pretty, man. Yeah, but I, it's the yeah. same thing as mom. Yeah, so you have the mom, and I can have the baby. Go ahead. That's what it works. That's the way we keep it in the family. No, every single one of them, all joking aside, every single one of them is gorgeous. Yeah, these are these are super cool. I mean, for a five egg clutch or five eggs that made it, mm -hmm. this is a pretty pretty unique, and they're big, these mm -hmm. are big babies. So, so anyway, happy that uh, happy that she finally gave us a pod, even though it's not the pod I wanted. I'm still still stoked with it. Are you more of a key lime pod kind of guy? Yeah, I like the key lime. I'm pod. more of an athlete pod kind of guy. I like chocolate pie. Chocolate pie is good. So. Hey. Ask the, ask the people watching to tell us what their favorite pod is. What is your favorite pod? Put it in the comments below so we all can know. Is it pod or pie? Pod. Well, a pod or a pie, a slice of pie. Either or. or I like pie. A pod, steak, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> At least you know the difference. She knows the difference. <laughs> and now y'all know. All right. We, uh, we're we going to get out of here. See ya. Thanks for watching Hardwired Exotics and make sure you subscribe. Bye.